Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my first inspiration for Finnable. I am super happy that I made to creative team and I will be very happy to share my inspirations with you featuring Finnable products. For today, I decided to alter a simple paper cup into a lovely gift box. The cup I have is uh, in craft, just brown color, but you can take any cup uh, you will have and uh, follow th uh, the steps I will be showing to create something similar. I'm starting with white gesso. I want to uh, prime my project because I will be using acrylic paints later. So two or three layers of white gesso I'm going to add here and it's good to wait for the first layer to dry before adding another layer. I'm going to mix two pink acrylic paints. These are metallic uh, paints, so they are shiny. I have a very light pink and a darker pink and I want to create ombre effect on the cup. So the top of the cup will be darker and then lighter and the bottom white. I'm not going to paint the bottom. I decided to cover that uneven part of the lid on the top of it. For that I took a piece of cardboard and the paper, this is Prima Marketing, and I'm going to uh, um, cut out the circle uh, the same size as the, the top and then adhere the paper to the cardboard and then the cardboard to the lid. But before adhering the cardboard to the lid, I had an idea to create a handle, you could say, on top of the lid. Uh, for that, I will use two beads. One is a wooden, really big bead, and then a little pearl uh, connected by the wire. And I'm going to put uh, this through the center of my um, circle before attaching it to the lid and then I will secure that with the tape, um, double-sided tape and after that I'm going to adhere that to the lid. I'm also going to add a string of pearls around the uh, big pearl, big bead, and also around the bottom of the lid just to make it more uh, decorated. You could also cover that hole in the cup, but I wasn't bothered by that, so I'm going to leave it as it is. To decorate the cup I decided to make some air dry clay elements out of the finnaber molds. I have few handmade flowers, die cut leaves, uh, die cut doily, some chipboard frame and also the flowers which are cut out of the Prima papers and a piece of lace which will go around my project. All of these elements are in pink white color uh, as these are the colors of my project. I'm starting uh, with attaching the lace and then I'm going to add the 
embellishments on top of it. As you can see, my die cut uh, doily is not even a whole. <laughs> it's not not even a whole doily, but it it is enough for this project. It's nice to use some leftovers from the previous projects. I always, uh, you know, try to do that instead of keeping them in the drawers. And on top of that, we'll go a chipboard frame. On top of the chipboard frame, uh, air dry clay frame and then some flowers and other beads which I have on my desk. As you can see, not many embellishments, but it will look lovely anyway. I always like to finish off my projects by adding a lot of texture and I have my favorite products on the desk, pearls, uh, mini art stones, glitter, micro beads and I'm going to adhere this using a gel medium. You can also use glue which dries clear. Uh, you don't need to add a lot of these elements but here and there just to uh, blend everything together to, to add interesting detail. And the last step is to add a, a white pearl wax. It's just beautiful color. It, 
it will make the element slightly shiny but it it's not like very visible so i really really like that effect and this will be it for today i hope you like the inspiration and i invite you to create something similar and if you will please tag me on social media so i can see your projects i'm so happy i could share my idea with you here uh, featuring the Finnebar products which are absolutely amazing thank you very very much for watching please check um, the Finnebar blog and the facebook instagram page because you will find lots of fantastic inspirations there thank you very very much bye bye have a lovely creative day.